discuss stock screening using moving averages. Oftentimes we think that moving averages are one of the most basic or perhaps one of the first indicators that you learn as a trader, right? But then proper usage and context of it would actually, can actually lead you to many opportunities. So I'm going to teach you in this video series uh, different ways of how to use moving averages to screen your stocks, find make your stock selection easier and from here we could use it as potential trend filters identifying critical levels and even find confirmation or reversals when the trend shifts all right so first part of the video we're gonna start with trend filters okay so let's begin okay so we're here in our investor charts and first let's set up the basic indicators that we're going to use. So example, we're going to use moving average exponential. So let's put at least two of these EMAs. And then let's do a 20 day, 20 day EMA for the short term. And then 50 day EMA represents medium term. Okay. So I'm just going to adjust the lines here. Okay, so you can see here that mainly the moving averages are just following the trend of the price, right? So the orange line is the 20 day. It's our shorter term moving average, meaning for the past 20 days, the indicator just tracks the last 20 day closing of this stock and then it averages it out. And then on the purple line, it's the same, except that it uses a more longer time frame, 50 day. Okay. And what we can observe here is that for short-term trends, when the price is below our moving averages, for example, looking just at the short-term period, and you can see that every time it nears or it stays below that orange line, then that means that we're in a short-term downtrend. Then, so then the prices can recover above that line. But then if we take out the medium-term moving average, we're going to see that, oh, we're still in a medium term downtrend. So that's the initial idea of using moving averages as a trend filter. You can see, you can get a good feel of what the prevailing trend in the stock is. All right. So now how do we use this in our screeners? So you just go to Investograms, the Investor Screener. And in here, we're going to be able to check out our different indicators so actually we could use our indicators here <laughs> you could access your indicators as well on the charts so let's find the moving average indicator so the difference between the simple and exponential moving average is that the exponential moving average puts bigger weight on the more recent time frame so it's more reactive to the price action okay so now, example, we just want to look out for stocks that are trending upwards above the 20-day EMA. Okay, so the basic parameter here would be price must be above the average. So with that, you could just click a quick run. Then you're going to see that we have 139 stocks. Then you could sort it with using year to date or value traded for the last day to see who's the most active traded and then and then from here you could check out which stocks are on a short term uptrend so you can see here with Jollibee ever since it broke out of the 120 price level and in the 120 gap area that's where it suddenly started to trend upwards. So from there, you had a 25 peso upside. Now you can see here pure gold. So actually these two names, these top three names, pure gold, JFC, SM prime are one of the, um, some of the main consumer names, consumer stocks in the Philippines, right? So you can see here 
just using a simple 20 day moving average filter you're going to be able to identify the uptrend on pure gold all right sm prime is just starting to start its uptrend ac there then if we use we could also filter it using year to date so you're gonna see that tech approach its 20 day here and then on the breakout we had a good upside of around 30 40 percent not bad so that's that's how you filter using the 20 day mo moving average but then next step so what if we want to use we want to see stocks that we want to see stocks which are trending on the medium term so let's just shift the time frame or you can actually add another moving average so instead of just using the 20 day you could also use the 50 day so now we have two trend filters so this this allows us to have a stronger stronger filter for the market meaning for a stock to come out in this list you should it should be able to be to sustain above the short term trend and then the medium term trend so now let's take a test so you can see here the the first result was 100 plus stocks and now it's it's less than to half meaning we're now filtering more stronger stocks or at least stocks that have shown more strength to beat the 50 day resistance 50 day trend resistance i mean okay so let's check out the list so you can see here that Jollibee was taken out of the context and then you still have AC and Tel, PLDT. <laughs> um, let's put out the 50 day line. So here, yeah, you can see that price is both above, above the 20 day and the 50 day. So we, we've got two confirmations. And then of course you could use moving averages once you're able to filter you can then now use price action so in investagrams you also have automatic support resistance or you could just plot it on your own track the recent highs then you're gonna see pldt is approaching the 1 2 to 1 2 50 resist resistance area right and then what's next urc hmm this one is pretty in a pretty crucial state so unlike Jollibee this one so if we look at Jollibee Jollibee is just below the 50 day line but then on the other hand URC is closed above that 50 day line so those are two differences and if you put importance in these technical indicators then then you, this these factors these slight differences can actually help you in terms of your decision making okay so tech let's say let's take a look at this one third telco dito yeah. this is one of the stocks that's pretty pretty much talked about in investagrams and in the social media so you can see here that here it started to trend short term and we're able to see some sustainability but now we're entering above the 50 day the medium term trends and you can see here that we could all we also have a price breakout so if this holds about above the current levels then perhaps we're able to find more opportunities here so this is the difference guys when you're using strict parameters and screening using the investor screener you're gonna see exactly which stocks are coming out and it's easy access with your charts you don't have to eyeball everything because what happens is sometimes even though we're well trained into we're well trained into reading charts human bias can lead us to errors right but then with a screening tool it automatically forces you and gives you objective an objective assessment on which stocks are actually entering into your filter okay so that's the first part of our video. We're going to have a break and watch the next video so that so that you can see the con continuation of our